or float? Yeah? What do you think is going to happen? Hi everyone! Today's activity is learning which object float and sink. This is a simple and fun activity that does not require a lot of preparation. All you need are just water, basin, any heavy and lightweight toys that sink or float. We also use some spatula and food coloring to mix the water. For fun pouring and transferring, we use beaker and some flasks. We also use some of our bath toys that shows numbers, and letters and some colors. This helps reinforce some concepts that we were teaching Charlotte lately. After pouring and transferring, she uses food coloring to mix with the water. This is a great opportunity to ask Sir to identify the color. This activity is also a great sensory play for toddlers. It allows her to explore different texture, shapes, sizes, buoyancy, and density of each object she picks. It also sparks curiosity, allows her to make observation, formulate hypotheses, and make her own prediction. This provides an opportunity for her to review concepts we learn early on, like identifying numbers, shapes, and colors. Applying all she learned hands-on through play makes it easier for her to remember. We also encourage her to clean up every after play that includes cleaning up her table, the floor, and also drying all her toys. All right. Now we're going to put it back now, okay? Here. We also try to remind her the importance of washing hands before and every after play. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.